Hello everyone, I am Chef Christy and welcome to my channel where I share delicious recipes every single Monday and Thursday. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell, then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. And give me a thumbs up, let me know that you like my videos. Okay, I just want to say I love peanut butter. <laughs> let me show you my stash. Okay, let me show you. Of course you've got your creamy. Uh, I've got a natural peanut butter, and I get this when I go to Sugar Creek, Ohio, up in Amish country. Um, and you grind it yourself, there's no sugar, nothing added to it, and I like it a lot. And you can also do a honey roasted peanut butter, which of course is delicious. And then of course you have your peanut butter on the go. I mean, you never know when you're gonna need peanut butter. So. I like to have it with me. And I've got almond butter, which I like. And of course, <laughs> I've got the hazelnut spread, which it's, I mean, it's hazelnuts. So these are all nut butters. Delicious. And today's recipe is going to be made with peanut butter. Okay. Today is a very special day because it is my husband's birthday and so I'm going to make him his very favorite dessert and that is for a peanut butter pie. Delicious. Now I will say he is kind of particular about his peanut butter pie. He likes a plain graham cracker crust, just a creamy peanut butter pie and that's it. But this particular recipe makes two pies and so I'm going to do a graham cracker crust and then an Oreo crust. Yes. So I'm going to make two different pies and I'm going to show you just what you need and just how to do it. Okay, so here is what you need. You need graham crackers um, and butter. If you want to buy the pre-made graham cracker crust, please do because I do that a lot of times, but today I'm going to show you how to make a graham cracker crust. And I'm also going to do an Oreo crust, like I said. For your peanut butter filling, you will need a jar of peanut butter, cream cheese, two cups of powdered sugar, and then you will need four cups of heavy cream. Again, you can use a carton of Cool Whip, and I will put um, the ingredients in the description box below. Um, I just prefer to whip my own cream and make my own whipped cream. Okay, I'm going to take some graham crackers and break them up and put them in a food processor. Okay, and I'm drizzling in six tablespoons of melted butter. And you want it to be just enough so that you can form it and it'll hold together. Then I'm going to just pour my graham crackers into a nine inch pie plate and then begin to press up the sides. Okay, once you got it pressed out, then you can put it into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, so to my food processor, I have 24 Oreo cookies and I'm going to just pulse this and grind them up until they're nice, fine, um, fine crumb. Okay, so they're finely ground. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle in four tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, and then I'm just going to pour the this crumb mixture right into a nine inch pie pan and press them down. The nice thing about this crust is you do not have to bake it. You can just put it in your refrigerator and let it chill for a little bit and then put your filling in. Okay, so next I'm just going to, I'm putting all my heavy cream into my stand mixer and I'm going to whip this until it's nice stiff peaks. you get the stiff peaks where it's nice and thick 
then I'm going to transfer this to a bowl and put this into my refrigerator to keep it nice and cool. Okay, so to the same mixer, I'm going to add my package of cream cheese. The, it has been softened. It's been sitting at room temperature. All right, so I'm going to beat this, whip this, until it's creamy. Okay, so I have uh, whipped my cream cheese till it's nice and creamy, and now I'm just going to add a little bit at a time my powdered sugar. Finish the powdered sugar and then I'm going to begin to put in my peanut butter as well. Okay, so I'm going to put half of this whipped cream, which is one, if you're using the carton of Cool Whip, it's one container. And I'm gonna save this for, to top my pie. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl because you want all that to get incorporated and down in the bottom. Okay, this is what we're talking about. Nice and creamy. Now we're gonna put it into our pies. Okay, so what you have here is two beautiful crusts. And then all you need to do is take your pie filling and I'm going to put half of this into my graham cracker crust. Spreading it until it's nice and even. And then the other half, I'm gonna dump about a fourth of a cup of mini chocolate chips into my peanut butter filling mixture and stir this around. And then pour this into my Oreo crust. Okay, real quickly to my other uh, whipped cream, I do want to uh, sprinkle in some powdered sugar and I'm just going to beat this again until all this is sugar is incorporated. Because remember, this was just plain heavy cream. It didn't have any sugar. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract. Okay, so to a piping bag, I'm going to place a a tip down into the end of my piping bag, place it into a cup, and then I'm going to put my whipped cream in a piping bag and pipe it onto my, pie, my, my pies. You do not have to do that. You can just dollop it on there, but I kind of want it to be a little bit fancy. And then all you got to do is just make your big circles, however you want to do it. Ta da Okay, so these look beautiful just like this, but I want to decorate them a little bit more. And so why not just take one of my creamy peanut butter on the go packs and cut the end off. And then just drizzle some peanut butter right over top. <laughs> yeah. And then to my Oreo crust, I'm going to place an Oreo cookie right in the center just so that we know what it is. Okay. 
two beautiful peanut butter pies and I'm gonna place these into my refrigerator and let them set for a few hours okay these peanut butter pies are beautiful and they are so delicious and of course I'm gonna leave the plain graham cracker crust peanut butter pie for the birthday boy today but I'm going to dig into this Oreo. I'm going to dig into this Oreo pie and give this a try. That's one thing I really like about this recipe is that it makes two pies. All right. The moment of truth. Let's see if we can get this to come out. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tell you, I'm a peanut butter lover. I love anything peanut butter. And this is delicious. And with that Oreo crust, it's over the top, y'all. It is so, so good. I hope that you give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day.